Cool. So this is recorded like every other session, and uh, it's Tuesday, November 10th. Let's pretty much get right into it. All right. Doing well, Samir. Thanks for asking, man. Hope you're doing the same. I uh, hope you all are, actually. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. So happy Tuesday. Um, yeah, interesting week for sure, right? The follow-up week to this election. So uh, let's kind of see how things go this week. We'll take it slow. We'll be patient. Look for good scenarios. And uh, yeah, just trade accordingly. Do what we do best. So let's get started on DXY here. Uh, we're on the daily time frame. So I just want to zoom out and give you guys the overall trend. If we just look literally left, you see a giant ascending channel. Very, very bullish. Uh, you know, US dollar has been for quite a while, all the way since about April 2018. So very nice ascending channel. Uh, then we started getting some craziness, you know, as Corona news started developing. Then the you know market kind of price and all the effects that had happened from Corona. And we saw the dollar start to slide. So we saw our first major break here at this weekly zone. That was a transition. So the weekly was then a bearish, uh, bearish bias, bearish trend. Okay, then after that, it fell down to our monthly where we saw and are still experiencing pretty much a bit of consolidation, a little bit of ranging down at this lower end. So let's go ahead and drop to the four hour, see where we're at. We're definitely bearish, right? That's definitely the overall trend here. Definitely bearish on the daily time frame, uh, weekly. And hold on one second. Excuse me, guys. All right, so very bearish overall on trend. So we're on the four hour here. We're looking at this price action. So we really need to see where this is going to go. But as long as price action remains within this range, you know, the uh, conviction is very very limited. You know, you could play trades you know, within this range. You could buy the resistance, I mean, uh, buy at support, sell at resistance, you know, that's fine. That There is a little more risk associated with that. So I'll, I will definitely recommend waiting for a break of a range. Uh, so let's talk trade scenarios. So last week we did mark this up, or well, Sunday we marked this up. We said that it could either keep sliding on this bearish momentum into this monthly zone, then we could see some sort of pullback. And then we'll see if we get a lower high or break up this 92.5 area. Instead, we actually saw price action pull back immediately, cross through the MAs, blew back to this resistance level, and now could be forming you know, a sort of higher low here, just above 92.5. If that happens, uh, look for price action to you know, somewhat follow this trade path where we'll see a higher low, and then we'll see you know, some sort of rally, at least within this range, back to the four hour. So we could be bullish on the dollar. It could be, it all depends on how this, uh, how this forms. If this is a higher low with good conviction, meaning we get nice, strong bullish setups, um, then yeah, this would be a really nice, I would definitely be bullish on the dollar then. All right, so that's DXY. Let's go ahead and move on to AU. All right, cool. So daily time frame to start. Uh, overall, this is still this is very bullish now. Uh, we were bearish for a while, breaking through key support, testing as resistance, dropping to major uh, monthly levels, and then pulling back pretty aggressively. Excuse me, guys. All right, so I pulled back pretty aggressively, and then actually blew through a uh, weekly lower high, making uh, this weekly trend bullish then. And then we had Nice little push higher, nice ascending channel, then a pullback to test broken weekly structure. Nice double bottom, you know, it uh, rejected from this level pretty hard as support and then took off. So let's go and drop to a four hour. We'll get a closer look at this bit of price action and see where price action may be headed uh, this week. Okay, so here's that consolidation. Uh, here was a break at the monthly, then the channel. Then we got a daily transition here. Once this higher low is broken, price action fell to the monthly, kind of just messed around in here a little bit. You can see it rejected, it bounced here, rejected here, bounced here. So, you know, just consolidation, some sort of you know, ranging. Didn't really have any clear direction uh, until this happened. Until this happened, which was pretty much influenced by the dollar falling off. So this huge slide off from the election caused AU to pump, right? It blew through major resistance levels. Uh, the major one being here at this uh, 
uh, the set of daily lower highs right here. So we broke through that. Now we're looking for a higher low above this daily zone. So, but interesting to note that this pulled back pretty good, right? AU, not so much. So it's holding at this level. So we could see more consolidation. Maybe we'll get a real, you know, nice pullback as these fibs are adjusted now. So maybe we'll get a nice fib level. 38.2 is always ideal. Let's go ahead and mark this real quick. But oh, did you guys see that actually? The first, so the first trade path actually happened. The momentum did continue. It just shot right into this um, resistance level at 0.734. Literally double top, a uh, little tweezer top rather at that level. So this is what we're looking for now. Pretty much a pullback to the 38.2, just like this. And then you can target long. Uh, obviously, after you see you know some 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 sort of support, some sort of uh, you know bullish setup, something that you know you want to see confirmations. But obviously, anywhere between a 38.2 in this daily zone, you could see a potential entry. Okay. Uh, however, if this does break below this daily zone again, look for lower highs and then target down towards the bottom of this range, which is our monthly monthly weekly zone. Okay, so let's go to the daily for a second. Well, see if these uh, targets kind of make sense. Okay, so look, we broke a major zone here. We're definitely bullish again. If we do see a quick test, some sort of wick or rejection or higher low, that would be enough uh, to say we're bullish for sure and could be looking for a nice long opportunity into this key resistance and potentially higher uh, towards negative 27 or, you know, uh, you know, this weekly zone up here. All right, and if this does break lower, Look that lower high. Uh, we just want to see this. We just want to see price action up in this level completely fail. If this this trade, uh, you know, scenario two is to happen, you know, I want to see price action fall completely. I want to see a flop from the buyers, and then just seller total takeover right to this daily zone. Uh, but but yeah, until that happens, guys, definitely bullish. Looking at a bullish outlook. All right, that's AU. Move on to AJ. Yeah, this one's breaking out as well. All right, daily time frame to start, guys. Overall, was very bearish for a while here. If we zoom out, you can see descending channel, pretty steep, blowing through support, testing as resistance, very, very steep. Uh, and then we got a little weekly transition here. This lower high was broken, this higher low was formed. The rally continued. Nice transition on that uh, on that daily. So uh, once we reached this monthly zone, we had a bit of a failed breakout, a break of a daily higher low, and then a change of trend on the daily time frame. Uh, then we had just pretty much this descending channel, a little bit of chop, and then we had a nice rally to the upside recently here, uh, kind of breaking that descending channel. So we're going to drop to the four hour and get a closer look at this and see where price action may be headed. All right, nice descending channel, as you guys can see. This was kind of the, oh, this was the four hour level here recently that had broken. I thought this was gonna fail. I mean, I thought this would either, if this was gonna um, uh, break out, it would have happened right here, I mean. So I covered this on Sunday. We were looking for a higher low. Said there was a higher low potentially to form right here, enter on some sort of bullish setup. Uh, your entry would have been on this right here. Boom, boom, two to one right there. So this was uh, drawn up on Sunday. This would have been a really nice entry, um, but also we were looking for, you know, a, a, some sort of lower high below this four hour level. That obviously didn't happen. We got the higher low instead and price action took off. So that was a really nice, really nice analysis, played out well. Um, however, where do we go from here, right? So uh, pretty much because we're at this monthly zone, I really want to wait for structure. So let's see here. Right, let's fit this. All right, cool. Um, so we want to see this happen. I want to see a break of this monthly zone. I do want to see structure form. So we did see a 38 two hit just there. Yeah, I want to see move a move up to um, whoops. I don't like that arrow. All right, let's 
see here. All right, so I really want to see, let's go to the daily time frame for a second, just where we're at. Yeah, so every time we're at a huge, huge level like this, look to the left. What's happened in the past? Rejection there, rejection here, here, here. So just be a little hesitant with taking a, you know, a trade at this level. I do want to see a higher low after a significant break. So like a nice push higher, you know, a higher low with actual conviction, something like this, but then I want to see it follow through. Then you could enter on that. Um, but let's go ahead. I think I want to see something like this. Nice break, retest, continuation. Boom, enter on a higher low. Confirmed higher low rather. And there would be your trade. All right, so that's what we're looking on AJ. Uh, definitely potential long here, but we're gonna play it safe, wait for structure, wait for that higher low, wait for those good setups, and then we're gonna enter long. All right, but let's go ahead and consider bearish scenarios. Pretty much any sort of rejection from here. So this one's kind of tricky too. Let's go to the four hour on this one. Whoops. All right. All right, so for us to consider short scenarios, we really want to see, I want to see a lower high form before below this lower level of support, right at 76. So this is what it would look like, whoops. And also ideally, would like to get below the, uh, the MAs on, on this transition if it were to happen. So I wanna see bearish momentum step in. We break through this minor level of support, right at 76 flat. Uh, price action pushes through the MAs, finds a little bit of support, comes back, tests as resistance, MAs as well, and this zone. And then you get that confirmed lower high, then you can enter short. Okay, so that would be a nice little trade. You could target towards the four hour to start, then the weekly and so on. Uh, you know, just aim to get back into this channel and then also read price action, see how the momentum is. If you're getting a lot of indecision at this four hour level, you know, maybe look for a reversal. You know, it might just reverse in that area. You could just get a higher low instead. Um, but yeah, I mean, be smart, you know, just wait for the confirmation and uh, you know, have an appropriate target. Don't choose like something all the way freaking down here towards the weekly. You know, it's got to make sense short term as well. So, so yeah, these are two scenarios. We got to wait on this. I mean, after any huge move, guys, you got to wait for the market to kind of take a breather. It's not going to just make a huge move and then pay out again, you know, making it easy for you to just jump in now. It's going to take off. All is good. We're going to make a million bucks. This thing's going to the moon. No, it needs to, it needs to breathe. You know, it needs to come back. We need to see structure form and uh, we'll be ready though. We'll be ready. So just double check on the daily for a second. I like to do this, jump up to the daily time frame, check targets, see if everything makes sense as far as you know daily movement goes, for size of the candle. Uh, you know, where it's et cetera. This looks pretty good. So if we get a re rejection from here, I think it's very likely that we'll see this four hour met, this four hour level met, and this weekly level met. Um, however, if we do get a little bit more of a push to the upside and a higher low to form with conviction, I think this thing is ready to pop and we could see a really nice rally on AJ. Um, towards higher levels. All right, so that's AJ. Let's move up to UJ, another, fan, another fun one. All right, so daily time frame, guys on UJ, we know it's been bearish for so long, like super bearish, huge descending channel. Um, I'm sorry, huge descending triangle. Key support at 104.5, that's just been the level of interest for five years on this chart. 104.5, guys, keep that number in mind, remember it. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. All right, so tons of lower highs. This is a nice descending channel. You guys can see this. I don't even have any trend lines on this because it's so clear cut, right? Lots of lower highs, lots of lower lows. Price action is kind of just sliding off here uh, and then getting slammed into this 104.5 handle, right? So let's go ahead and drop and get a look at all the price action below this weekly zone and uh, see what's going on. All right, so here's UJ on the four hour. Let's expand a little bit here. All right, and then we're still getting just a continuation of a little bearish channel here. All right, we do have, you can get rid of this now. This didn't play out. 
Instead, we saw a huge rally. You know, we thought the bearishness was going to continue. We thought we were going to, you know, just get a nice drop to the downside, but the dollar pulled back. So this actually reacted very, very well with the dollar. See this pullback, right? It doesn't look too big on DXY here, right? But if you hop over to UJ, it looks pretty big. You know, this thing reacted, you know, crazy. 200 pips. I mean, this is like, what is that? Two hours, three hours. That's insane. So, um, but anyway, yeah. So this thing reacted very, very uh, heavily and uh, skyrocketed. So it actually pushed just above the 200 EMA, just outside this channel here. So this is technically a break of a lower high, four hour zone. So we have a nice little four hour break of structure here. We'll probably call it just like this. So we're bullish on the four hour. We can get rid of this one. You know, this was a lower high that was broken, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Where's the, uh, that's fine, that's fine. Um, all right, so two more trade scenarios from the current price action. Either we see, let's get rid of these fibs too, actually. All right. So this is what I think could happen that I would be interested in. Maybe a nice rally up into 106, pullback, form structure, higher low, then I would target back into that level. Uh, as I would expect this volume to continue higher on such an aggressive break or you know this thing goes short and this is just you know speculation maybe I don't think it is I think this is a correction but if this were to drop look for any sort of lower high preferably below 104.5 but also you know back in this uh, or in this channel you know, below this resistance forming lower highs again so we want to see so you know what i'm actually going to say just to be a little more conservative just because of how many times this 104.5 handle has been kind of faked out i'm going to say just wait for that damn lower high below 104.5 we still haven't seen it yet like a nice convict like conviction one like really really nice one haven't seen it yet so we're looking for that nice cross through the mas positive rejection of them as resistance uh looking to go short off a lower high here all right so let's Double check on the daily time frame, see if our targets make sense. All right, cool. So, right, let's see if it breaks to the upside first. Cool, the 200 EMA is pretty much a target here. Weekly zone as well makes a lot of sense. Still would pretty much be overall bearish, um, but you know, could definitely pull back. Excuse me, guys. Wow. All right, so if this goes short as well, uh, we're targeting towards a prior low, pretty much 103 flat looks pretty good it's just good to double check your work jump around time frames kind of see it from a different perspective definitely definitely utilize time frames guys all right so this is uh yeah uj 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 let's move on to our next one ej uh crazy movement on here as well um yeah this thing just kind of took off so this was an analysis put out on sunday we were in here so this is what had happened right so we were stuck in here in this little bit of a range, a little bit of consolidation going on. And, you know, we said it, it was definitely looking bearish because of all this rejection, right? So we were favoring a downside push. Uh, however, we were not blind to the fact that this could go long and we just wanted to see some sort of higher low above this four hour or at the very least a break of that four hour zone uh, with some sort of, you know, bullish setup to enter on with decent risk management still uh, before it took off too much. So, I mean, obviously you saw it take off I mean, this thing didn't really give you much of an entry unless you kind of just hopped on that one candle there on the immediate break. Uh, and then obviously you would have been rewarded for that. And this thing kind of skyrocketed 150 pips uh, right into our daily resistance level where it found pretty good amount of rejection. Whoops, let's get rid of this tool. Oh, wow, excuse me guys. All right, so right? Rallied right into this daily zone, tons of projection from there. So let's go ahead, just take a step back, look at this daily time frame, see where we're at, and then we'll start dropping down, going over trade scenarios. Let me clear this up. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Boom. Perfect. All right, cool. So still technically bearish in terms of lower high, like um, structure here, because like we broke through major support, test says resistance, found a new low, came back up, tested resistance again. So 
still didn't break anything still very much bearish um but you know there is a ton of bullish volume stepping into the market so i think we should drop down to the four hour take a closer look at this little uh descending channel here and come up with some trade ideas all right so a little more all right here we are in this little channel here okay so to go long guys i mean i like that this is forming a little you know higher low looking bit of price action right now this is a good sign um however you know will it have the conviction to break this zone we'll see this is what i want to see out of this break of this weekly uh this daily resistance higher low above and then some nice bullish conviction uh candles into this monthly zone that would be perfect nice little trade just like this Let's see how many pips, 160 pips there about, 50 pips per, per, to risk, 3.1 risk reward, that's amazing. Uh, this could be a really nice trade. Really, really nice trade. You're looking to enter in here after, oops, right in here. So, all right, and then if this is to continue bearish, Let's go ahead and just adjust this for a second. Look at that. Okay. Perfect. All right. So for us to go short, for us to consider consider short scenarios. Oh, excuse me. For me personally, I need to see a lower high or break at the very least back into this this ascending channel. Nice lower high below a 200 EMA, like this one right here. This should be phenomenal. And these other MAs just for more um, you know, confluence, that'd be perfect. And then I would target down towards our key weekly zone around 120 flat. Okay. But until it breaks back below into the channel and then forms a lower high, I can't comfortably take any shorts on this. I can't look at any shorts, you know, potentially until that happens. It's just too bullish. Too, too bullish. All right. Just EJ, guys. Two nice little scenarios here. Look for a break, higher low above this daily zone right at 124.7 or break lower, lower high, you know, back in this ascending channel and uh, close to this four hour level around 123. All right, so that's EJ. And then I got gold for you guys, the last one. This thing absolutely tanked, unbelievable. Somebody lost their freaking house on this trade. Look, look at this, unreal. All right, daily time for him to start, right? Good of places any. So uh, very bullish, as we can see. Has been for quite a while. Nothing's really changed on you know the higher time frames. Um, but we have been getting some you know lower time frame transitions, lower time frame breaks, and so on. But uh yeah, overall we're definitely super, super bullish still on gold here. So let's just go right to the four hour and take a look at this bit of price action, see if we can't come up with some trade scenarios. All right. So let's just go over the entire bit of price action. We recently had a rally. As soon as we broke 1800, this thing just took off. It's like it jumped on a rocket, jumped up and then just shot off the 2070. Uh, then it, shortly after it started going sideways, gave us this giant descending triangle, tons of lower highs leading up to key support at 1930. Uh, so it finally broke 1930, right? That was, a, that was our daily breakup structure. Then price action went sideways. Started ranging between this little uh, four-hour level, 1875, and then daily resistance at 1930. Tons of ranging. Again, I told you guys you could trade the range if you wanted to. Uh, I personally would not do any risky uh, maneuvers on gold. That's just me personally. Uh, and I always like to wait for a true break uh, retest with you know, conviction to follow. So after all this ranging, we did get a bit of a rally. It looked like it was going to break to the upside, especially after you got this little higher low, <clears throat> this little higher low and, uh, you know, bullish engulfing, a little one, two. It looked like it was going to take off, but obviously failed. It actually gave us a little ascending ascending wedge. For those of you who know patterns, that just shows the you know, momentum kind of dying off. So that was the first and real only indication that this thing was about to tank. You know, price action was just slowing down. Momentum was dying. And then, you know, a U.S. dollar correction came into play after a huge drop, so it was very dramatic. It's actually forming a higher low right now. So this pullback represented 
in this fall here. So the gold and dollar are inversely correlated. So dollar corrects, pushes up, gold falls like heavy, like really, really bad from 1960 all the way down past 1860. So that's insane. A thousand pips, like what the hell? Crazy, crazy, crazy. So where we're at now, we need to consider, all right, so it's definitely bearish, right? Definitely bearish to start. We're looking for some sort of lower high. It looks like it could be forming a lower high right now. Um, however, if it doesn't form a lower high, you do want to see a lower high below 1875. Then you could take a short into our weekly uh, support around 1825. Excuse me, guys. I didn't get too much sleep last night. Um, all right. So, look at these bibs. All right. So, this is pretty much what we're looking for. I mean, this could pull back a lot more. Honestly, I think this is more likely. It's just too low. It needs to, like, this is just one hell of a move. For that, that candle to form is pretty wild. Uh, so, I definitely think we could see this. Maybe, maybe we pull back to here. Either way, my entry is going to be on a lower high below 1875. I don't care that if a lower high forms in here, that's fine. I want to see that structure anyway. But uh, me personally, I'm only taking entries over here. You know, nothing, like I don't want to jump into this thing after it just moved a thousand like this. Like that's sketchy, you know? You want to wait, wait for the market to breathe, wait for it to give you something that you can identify, uh, you know, or take a trade out of. So this was what I'm interested in. You know, just structure formation, lower high below 1875 and then we're short. Uh, however, long scenarios, right? What do we need to uh, what do we need to see? So obviously a break back above 1875, back into this range. Uh, if I did see a higher low above this four hour, I would be pretty confident that th that this would then go long, just like this. And you could have an entry just over here. Boom. But yeah, I'd be pretty confident if we saw a higher low even above this four hour. Like look to the left, we haven't seen a higher low above this level, right? But if we do, I would be pretty confident that this would break out and uh, or would start the breakout and then uh, you know look to go long here. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's gold. This thing has just moved so much. You got to give it a breather, you gotta relax on this one. Not trying to get bit on gold, that is never fun. It just moves so much, it's a big hit. Um, so yeah, just kind of chill on this one for now. But uh, let's jump up to the daily. Check our targets for a second. If we get a break of this daily, uh, yeah, we're definitely looking long, uh, targeting all these prior lower highs as targets, as TP levels, uh, and then you know 2015 as an ultimate target. I definitely could see that happen. Uh, however, if we do see this bearishness continue, nice little structure formation couldn't hurt anybody. Want to see that lower high finally form, and then we could target this weekly, and then maybe even back down towards 1800. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, guys, that's all the pairs that I've prepared for you. Quick recap, cover DXY, AU, AJ, UJ, EJ, and gold. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna pass it off to Angelo. Cool, gonna take good analysis. Um, <clears throat> so you went through a lot. I actually, yeah. I gotta hop off right now because I'm on another call, but well, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna upload this recording um, to YouTube and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go through all the major pairs and uh, I'll add that to the recording for today. A little, little bit different. Normally I'll go through obviously everything for today, but just look out for updates in the chat guys. I'll um, send some updates in there and uh, we'll, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So thanks for hopping on guys. We'll be back on tomorrow at 8 AM for the next session. So just check the chat for the updates. I'll send out the link uh, pretty soon. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, sorry again, but you know, stay uh, stay in Discord. Look for that link, and uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, a lot of good setups for today. So I'll send you. I'll send you guys my analysis in a bit. Perfect. Peace. All right, guys. So we're back with our live session. We had to cut the earlier one short. So I'm gonna go through all the major pairs for you guys, like we normally do. So. Let's just look at DXY, first of all, um, at the moment. Let's bump up to the weekly time frame. So 
weekly time frame on the XY guys overall still very much bearish on this pair. So still very much bearish. Last week formed a bearish engulfing. This week is is opening very bullish. So let's just break this down further. Daily time frame. So daily time frame we have been forming lower lows and lower highs this whole time until we reach this point, which we rejected this monthly level. And that combined with this right here. So we came up, hit this 38.2 level, and then we pushed to the downside right there. So we came down, hit 38.2, pushed again. So right now we are very much bearish on the XY. Let's break down this leg a little bit further. Let's go down to the four hour. Um, so four hour time frame. Four hour time frame, we're seeing we have across the moving averages. So the one hour has shifted to be bullish. The 30 minute has shifted to be bullish, bullish, but we're still bearish overall on this four hour time frame. So we're in this retracement. I'm gonna delete this daily fib. We're in this retracement right here. We're pulling back. We have this resistance level that we have marked from the daily time frame. Um, this is a potential area of reversal. When would we start to look for reversals? If this four hour candle closes uh, with this evening star right here, then it'll be confirmation for us to bump down to a lower time frame. As we can see on this lower time frame, we really need to break this 92,650 level in order to consider short opportunities on this. So one hour structure again is bullish, 30 minute structure again is bullish. Um, we're waiting on the four hour to see if this is going to be an area with multiple confirmations. Got the resistance level 38.2. If this can close as an evening star, then this would have us be pushing to be bearish. So with this in mind, let's go over to NZD USD. As DXY pushes down, NZD USD should push up. So let's go up to the weekly time frame we could see here on nzd usd we're actually hitting a level of resistance a very key level uh monthly level up here so this is what we marked down on the monthly time frame as we come down to the daily again daily time frame very overextended right now we're at the top of this level and then as we go down all the way to the one hour um so on the one hour time frame guys i want to break down this entire push and I'm going to actually go to the 30 minute. So 30 minute time frame, we've been forming higher highs, higher low, and we could use our fibs to map that out. So we hit this higher low 38.2. Then we pushed up, have another higher low, pushed up, have another higher low right here. Then we pushed up, had another higher low, pushed up. This is our most recent higher low when price pulled back, hit this level, pushed up. As we can see now, we're having a break of this level break of support. So we will look for short opportunities to the downside once this is confirmed. So this just broke below. If we were to take entries now, this would be where our stops would be. Um, and we're looking for this thing to push lower with this four hour. So the four hour, it, as this thing starts to push a little lower, moving averages are gonna start to cross. We can see we have this evening star that formed on the four hour. So our confirmations are pretty much this level of resistance, this evening star, this little double top that happened. And then ultimately on the lower time frame, this 30 minute, as this starts to hold below this level and break, that is going to be ultimately our confirmation to head lower. So NZD USD looking to push lower. If this thing does pop back up and break this resistance level, then it will invalidate this trade. So let's go over now to Euro USD. Let's bump up to the monthly. So up on the monthly time frame, we've got price has been pushing higher and higher on the monthly time frame. We're currently at this weekly level of resistance right here. Um, as you can see with this candlestick combination, we are currently in a very bullish monthly candle. Weekly time frame. So last week closed with a bullish engulfing candle, um, showing that there's more buyers than sellers in the market but we still are at this resistance level. So as long as we're below this level right here, this 19200 level, I am looking for sells. So coming down to the daily, daily time frame again, looking for sells as, as long as we're below this 19200 level, 
and we see we have a bearish engulfing candle. We're at the resistance level right now. We're retesting these highs. So as I break this down to the one hour, we can see very clearly on the one hour time frame, we just broke this level of support. This was the break right here. I know we're pushing back up right now, but I am expecting some sort of resistance. And so let's even hit down to the 30 minute. So as long as we are below this level right here on the 30 minute time frame, we are looking for short. So we are looking for this thing to continue to go short. Um, if we get another bearish engulfing candle, similar to this, then we will look to short this right now. If this level breaks up here on the 30 minute, that's when we're going to start to look for buy opportunities. So that's Euro USD. Let's look at UCAD. Let's bump up to the weekly time frame. So weekly time frame on UCAD, we are currently testing this weekly level. So we have this weekly level of support right here. Obviously last week formed a bearish engulfing candle. So a lot of sellers are in the market. As we break it down to the daily, we could see daily time frame very much bearish, forming lower lows, lower high, lower low, lower high here. And last daily candle close with a ton of exhaustion. So I am expecting this to continue to reverse. Let's break this down even further, four hour time frame. As you can see here, moving averages, we're fighting to cross right now. And then as we break this down even further to the 30 minute, so the 30 minute has already broken trend. So we've broken into an uptrend. Uh, we're breaking this resistance level at the moment. We will look to enter if we get any sort of bullish price action here. So if we get a bullish engulfing, bullish variation, um, then we will look to enter. And we'll put our stops below this level to the left. We'll put our stops below here at around 40 pips. And then as I bump up, to a higher time frame, what will we be targeting on this? What are our targets? Um, we are going to target, let's bump up even up to the daily, give us some more direction. We're gonna basically target these lows right here. So previously, we have, hold on one second. So we are gonna target this daily support level. Um, we're going to see if that will be retested as this thing starts to push higher. So that's UCAD right now. Again, looking for buys. Let's go over to GU. This thing has been pushing higher and higher. Uh, last week, we definitely had the analysis on this on point. So let's bump up to the weekly time frame. So weekly time frame on GU, we are currently testing this level of resistance up here that has been respected multiple times as you can see here to the left so before we take any sort of entry here we're going to need uh, a lot of price action to form this is why this is very low on my list right now of uh, potential entries it's just very bullish so daily time frame the trend is bullish four hour time frame the trend is bullish all the way down to the one hour all the way down to the 30 minute Trend is very bullish on every single time frame, guys. So nothing to do on this pair right now. If anything, I'm looking for where's the next level of resistance that this thing might fall off of. And we could draw a supply zone up here. Obviously, we're in a level right now, but this would be the next level that we could potentially come to on GU and find some resistance. Next, let's go over USEF. Let's go up to the monthly time frame. All right, so Yousef on the monthly time frame, we're currently testing this level of support that formed right here. Uh, we have our monthly level marked right there. As you can see, the wicks here, I am expecting for this to continue to reverse right here. As we bump down to the weekly, weekly time frame again, coming off of this level, just a ton of buyers continue to step in. So let's go down to a time frame where you can see structure a little bit more clearly. Daily time frame is still very much bearish. This doesn't help out our case that this is potentially an area of support. Um, on the daily time frame, until we break this level, we are still bearish. So keep that in mind. On the daily, until we break that level, we're still bearish. On the four hour as well, four hour time frame is still very much bearish at the moment. We're currently testing 
this supply zone right now. So we need to break above this area and then all the way down to the one hour, still very much bearish. So before we take any longs on this, on Yousef guys, we need to get all the way above this level. So this is the level we need to get above. So I just went over NU, AU, EU, UCAD, GU, and USEF. AU, we actually went in, we went over previously in next session. Um, so again, sorry about the kind of the session short today, guys. This is going to be our live analysis for today. We'll be back tomorrow at 8 a.m. EST will be posting updates in the premium analysis chat. If you guys want to get started in here, I already posted some updates. Just come up into the start here section and you could sign up with this premium analysis link. It's just $7 one-time fee. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next live trading session. So peace out. Hope you guys have a good day. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow.